just to break down because I don't fully understand the architectural structure of how you become yeah. an architect. Yeah, I always just heard the general notion that it's a very long process. Yeah. What is that like? How how long is that process? And what process have you been through? I know you know you went to Liverpool. Yeah. Did you study architecture? Is that what what you studied? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, so you study architecture undergrad which is three years yeah. um, so that's the first degree and then you do a year out placement mm-hmm. uh, where you're working in a practice as a part one mm-hmm. and then um, you go back to uni to do your masters which is two years um, and then you work so now like my stage now I'm working full time we've got a bit of a and then, and then um, yeah so then so part two doing that that's me now and then, uh, yeah, so then I have to do part three, which is like you're at uni, but you're also um, working as well, which is so it's kind of a balance of the two. Yeah. And then after that, you're an architect. <laughs> but, <laughs> but So yeah. in total, how long is that process in, in terms of years? I think in total, people do it in like nine years, I'd say. Nine years is pretty, like you hear seven years, but seven years is like if you're very efficient, like mm. you are like, the best like as in like everything just falls into place mm. everything just works but I'd say it's I'd say yeah eight to nine years and in terms of you already mentioned that you you feel like you've kind of find your niche in terms of what you're interested in in communities and yeah and that kind of housing mm. what what was the inspiration behind that that niche uh, I guess firstly it's because so I'm interested in in terms of like buildings I'm interested in social housing in general and housing because we all need houses we all experience houses we all have our definition of what a house needs you know um, attributes aspects qualities spaces all of that and so it's always changing you know it's, it's always evolving mm-hmm. and that's interesting for me but then also on a kind of wider scale the idea of communities um, and why communities aren't working where they need to improve how they can be integrated into like a city um, you know that side of mm. things as well like that you know this idea of a lot of the time for example you know it's, it might be a bit of a generalization but where you have a bad community there's, there's likely to be social housing there mm. so social housing in itself has a lot of flaws or hasn't been i guess um it's a bit of a trend now but previously people weren't really seeing it as um a kind of area they can go into um or they don't really understand where social housing needs to go but now there's this opportunity where you can introduce social housing but also that it can't just be housing it has to contribute to a community and then this community has to contribute to the city and the urban side of things so it's like a knock-on effect really from like very small scale onto like a larger scale and that's what i'm interested in so it all kind of interlinks really absolutely that and that's interesting and in terms of what we're trying to do on on, on this series and, and ease in general is community so i'm interested to hear how you kind of define community and mm. how in what you're doing in your work in your architecture space is yeah. brick and mortar do you know like yeah. it, it's that physical structure mm. of, of, of community where we're gonna go to talk about art you, yeah you're creating a, a world in translating something in a more expressive way yeah you know and I, and I wonder is there is there a link in is there a balance maybe that's offered that's brought to you through expressing a community in a, in a virtual format through sharing it on Instagram and whatnot, mm. but also through creating stuff? I feel like that's maybe going to give you a, a balance in the future. But also, yeah. what is your definition of community? Because for me, mm. I always initially assumed um, thought of community as a very local thing in terms of physical touching as you say yeah. brick and mortar mm. but through moving around a lot going to America going to different places I realised that my community is the people on yeah. Instagram mm. people on Facebook people on whoever who I'm interacting with and yeah. and, 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 and coming together with Yeah. H- yeah. how do you view community and how is you know you've mentioned it's what you're interested in in terms of a physical space but I know yeah. it connects with your art Mm. so how is that important to you and especially just from your background sure I think community is everything man I think community really makes you can't for me I can't think of urban design or architecture without thinking about community like they're both kind of connected Um, you know for me good architecture and good urban design um, involves 
communities, creating communities, um, creating opportunities, opportunities to socialize. You know, for me, a community is like if you're, if you, like an established community, let's mm -hmm. say, right? So you have people who are the, the generations of people who have lived there. You know, you have your grandfather there who's lived there since he was like you know um 20 um and then you know he wakes up and then he goes to the coffee shop which is there um where he's read his newspaper there for like for the past every monday for like the past six years yeah and then after that he goes to see his uh, his children and then plays with grandchildren at the local park which is a green space and then um after that you know the 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 kids go to like school you know so you have all these different you know aspects which are within a, you know a, a community and this is you know they're all kind of interlinked and all integrated into one kind of urban design you know which is which is why i think it's incredible you know it's just thinking on that scale um that a community for a community to work you have to have a school you have to have green space you have to have this um that and you know th yeah i think that's what i'm really interested in and also the scale of the buildings yeah like it's great it is great what's well, good good people if you enjoyed that, then listen to the full episode over in your favourite podcast streaming service. Or for more clips, just continue to explore the channel. Keep it easy.